Hello, audiophiles and music lovers. Have you ever wished you could adjust the volume of your music system without getting up from your chair to manually turn the volume control on your amp? If your answer is yes, this video will help you assemble your own remote volume controller. The heart of the system is a product called AC-DC 9V Infrared Remote Controller Board ALPS Pre-Potentiometer Volume Control. It's available from third-party sellers on walmart.ca and on AliExpress online shopping websites. The first step is to add some AAA batteries to the remote handset. Next step is to mount a volume control knob. Connect a 9 volt battery. I'm pushing the on off switch now. You can see the LED light is lighting up. And if I press the plus to increase the volume, the volume control is turning clockwise. The next test is to check the resistance of the right and left channels of the potentiometer. So with the volume control turned all the way counterclockwise, the left channel resistance is 47.9 kilo ohms. The right channel resistance is 47.73. At the 12 o'clock position, the resistance on the left channel is 40.32. On the right channel, 40.32. At the fully maximum position, which is around 5 o'clock, the left channel resistance is 24.5 ohms. The right channel is 34.5. The left and right channel resistance track pretty well, and there should be no differences in volume caused by this potentiometer in the left and right channels. The next step is to assemble all the parts in the plastic enclosure box. I've finished drilling the holes in the enclosure box. That includes a 1 8 inch diameter hole for the LED light on the PC board, a 3 8 inch hole for the volume control shaft, on the back two 3 8 inch holes for the two RCA jacks, and two 1 8 inch holes for the RCA interconnect cable. Time to solder up the connections. After about 20 minutes of soldering, this is the final result. Everything went well except for uh, soldering the RCA jacks. There was a very little room between the ALPS potentiometer motor and the back of the case. I'm going to insert the remote volume control between my phono preamp and my main amplifier. The other thing I've done is turned up the master volume control to 100%. This will give the remote volume control uh, a wider range of adjustment. 
My listening position is approximately ten and a half feet from the remote controller. Let's turn it on. Let's see if it works five feet from the right. So there you have it. The remote volume controller works as advertised. If I had this to do over again, I would get a, a larger enclosure box. After less than a day of operation, the 9 volt battery died. I replaced it with another 9 volt battery which also lasted less than a day. So I think the motor will consume more current than what a 9 volt battery can provide. So I've replaced the battery with a 9 volt DC switching power supply. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you were able to find some useful information to help improve the performance of your audio system and enhance your music listening experience.